Hey everybody, Paco here. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to juggle 15 balls at a time? Pretty cool, right? Too bad I can't do it. So instead, I'm going to show you how to make 15 balls. Uh, this is a technique that I modified off of Jeremy Schaefer Variety's Gummy Balls. I call this the Sagami Ball. It's a simpler version of his Gummy Ball. So, let's check it out. The first thing you're going to need is a pattern. You can either get it off of Jeremy Schaefer's website, a link in the description, or you can get it off of goodenoughstuff.blogspot.com. Now I do my pattern a little bit different than his. Mine is six and a half inches wide, it's a square, um, but his are a little bit smaller. So depending on the size of hands you have, you might prefer one or the other. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is cut out the outside of the square, like so. Then you take yourself a craft knife or an exacto knife and you're going to cut out these tulip shapes. Okay, now you've got it cut out, discard that part and do the other three petals. Okay, now you have the pattern that you'll need to actually make the balls. Now once you have this cut out, what you're going to want to do is now lay out a piece of fabric. I like to use fleece, but really you could use pretty much any kind of fabric you want. Go ahead and try and experiment. Then you lay your pattern over the top of the fleece, and then using a special magic marking pen I like to call a magic marker, you're going to now trace around the inside of the petals, if you want to call them those. Now you may notice I'm not being very exact. Close enough works. Okay, and then you also want to trace around the outside of the pattern. Now once you have that, then just kind of go along and clean up any spots that need it. Next, take your scissors and cut along the outside of the pattern. Alrighty, that should work for the next step. For the next step, we sit down at our sewing machine. Now Jeremy Schaefer does this by hand, but I find it better to use the sewing machine goes faster and it works. So first thing you do is fold it over in half like so. You could pin this but I'm too lazy to do that. So what we do now is we just go right along the line like so and we start sewing. probably notice I wasn't that exact. Once again, good enough for me. Other side, once again, it's, it, it's close, close enough. So then I go back again, right along the outside of where I was already sewing. I just feel it gives it a much better protection this way. So here we go. Okay, now we've got the two layers of stitching done, the inside layer and the outside layer. Now to make this three-dimensional, make it ball shape, we need to have this point and this point line up. So to do that, we open it up like so. We fold it right along like that until we now have it folded into fourths. So now we have that is one seam and that will be the other seam. So get it folded like that, stick it into the machine. So 
So you're only sewing through one layer or two layers here. Okay. We're just going to keep following right along the line right here. Now you're going to want to leave, I don't know, two inches or so right here um, because we're going to need to turn it inside out. So just finish that off. And let's just flip it around and sew along a reinforcing line there too. Now we've got what we need to, to go to the next step. When Jeremy does these, he leaves these on. I am going to cut them off on the outside of the reinforcing line that I did before. And here's the one that is open, so I'm going to leave more of an allowance there. Now all this outside line does is just keep the tension off the actual part that's going to be on the outside of the ball. Um, okay, so what we do next is now we take the ball and we turn it inside out. And essentially we have the shape of our juggling ball. It will get better once we fill it, I promise. For my next trick, we're going to fill the juggling ball. So to do that, we need measuring cup, a funnel, and some sort of filling. Now for this one, I am using what are called polyfill poly pellet stuffing beads, but you could also use beans or rice, uh, preferably uncooked. Uh, probably not use water, it wouldn't work very well, but anything dry would probably be worth trying. So what we got to do is we need eight tablespoons of the filling. All right, close enough. I'm going to take the funnel, stick it inside the opening of the juggling ball. All right, that's good. And then we're going to start filling it. But halfway to start, get all those in and fill up the rest away. Now, it may not go in easily, but if you just Jiggle it around, I promise you can get eight ounces in there. All right, still misshapen, but that will get us going for the next step. Now for my next trick, we're going to sew this closed. So for that, you're gonna need a needle and some thread, and of course the ball. So what we wanna do is find the place where you finished sewing to, which is right about there, and Bring the needle out so it comes about where that is on one of the sides. Pull the needle up. And then you're going to go in on the other side about the same place. Now, once you have that going in, you're going to come out a little bit further up. Like so. Basically in line with where you're trying to reach. Pull that through, okay, and that is the beginning of it. And then you're going to come back to the other side again. This is where you can start tucking it in to see what you're trying to reach. So we want to go about here, go through, go a little further towards where your goal is. And pull it through again, and that will pull it closed. So you just keep stitching back and forth. So 
tucking it inwards. until you reach the end then you just kind of go through a few times go back in this part's a little weaker so you want to just kind of stitch it up some reinforce the the joint okay and then to finish it off you go one more loop go through okay and then it's good just to have it go back through somewhere I like to push it back through the seam that you created and then with a pair of scissors just cut that off Okay, and it may not be pretty, but it will definitely hold now. Now, ideally, you'd use a similar color thread to the uh, juggling ball you're using. I was doing this for contrast, where you can see the stitches. That usually wouldn't be a problem, though. But now you have yourself a juggling ball. So there you have it, the Sagami Ball. As always, leave comments, questions, complaints in the space below, and don't forget to keep throwing up. Boop.